production. What's up? We are three days out from my bodybuilding show here in Medellin. Today we are still sticking to the plan, so we are doing the chest, back, and some triceps. And then I uh, gotta take some progress pictures and send it to the coach because they want to see what I look like after working out. And so that is the game plan today. Energy's pretty good. I'll uh, do this. 50 minutes of cardio this evening. And then per my coach, he said changes to, are coming to the diet tomorrow. So I hope that means carbs, bananas, rice, almond butter, honey. Any one of those, I'll take it. But if it's the white fish and asparagus, I'm not going to be happy. But it will come Saturday for sure. Tomorrow, we'll see. I don't know. But uh, today, we're going to crush this workout. And uh, yeah, three days out, baby. Let's go. All right, first exercise with chest with seated, bench, back supported, fly. I like the back supporter because you can get a lot more stretch. So you can do the pec deck too. And Kyle, this is a really good motion just to isolate. And what we're really focusing on is uh, arms bent when they come back and then contracting, pushing out, straightening your arms as they come out. So really focus and then keep your chin up too. Those are the things that you want to focus on while doing this. So we just finished up uh, some cable flies. Now we are nice and warmed up. Blood is flowing in the chest. We are going to some heavy dumbbell press. So this is a good strength glute right? This is one I kept in the entire way through prep, also through the off season. Um, usually you want to keep it a compound movement for each body part you're trying to really progress. Keep it the same and track your reps and your weight. Uh, that's a good measure to see where you're at. Also, uh, putting on size to keep you accountable. So we're going to bang it out. Um, not going to go to failure. So I'll probably back it off maybe five, 10 pounds per arm, uh, what I normally do, but definitely going for a nice pump and a nice squeeze. So. <laughs> We just wrapped up dumbbell press here for chest. Had to hit two more of sets, and then three working sets. So this one I like to say heavy. I was trying to do the top to 15 range, but I only did eight to 10. I think this one I just 
I don't know, I feel like my chest stays more full for a couple days after. Uh, my competition's on Sunday, it's Thursday, so I think I'll be recovered. Send it off, but yeah, this is a staple. I love this, have it in every time. Finish up here, and now we're gonna get some upper chest on a 60 degree sweat machine. So hopefully nobody took it yet. Oh. For this, we're doing six degree incline Smith machine. So this really targets the upper chest, also gets that connecting piece in with the shoulder. So it's all kind of one strip. Um, this is what I really need to work on. My upper chest has been pretty weak, plus I had shoulder problems. So going heavy on this has been challenging, but um, what I found is kind of arching your back and tucking your shoulders behind you really gets that stretch even before you start. And then pushing off ensures that you're getting this part. If you're kind of hunched over, you're gonna use more of your deltoid to get that up, and you're not gonna be targeting your chest. So keep that open and then push, and then that way you'll ensure you're gonna get that upper chest as well. To finish chest, we're doing a super set burnout here. So we'll do two rounds of Smith Machine back press, laying on the ground, come down, have your elbows hit, kind of like uh, I'll just take the weight off of it and then explode out. Normally, I'll do a three second eccentric on the way down, fighting it, but since I was so close to the show, I'm eliminating all eccentric motions for this week so just coming down pausing exploding up come down pause explode up and then right after that i'm running over to the dip machine and pump it out as many as i can until failure and that's going to get the lower chest so this gets a ton of blood flow in the pack <laughs>
right now we're just doing two exercises for back and so normally i do just hanging pull-ups to failure but i don't want to totally kill my back right now being three or four days up um so i do the assisted right now just really focusing on that contraction when i get up from that squeeze and then stopping like two reps of four like absolute failure so i'm gonna do two on here and then we'll do an upper back row as well and just really focus on the squeeze there and then uh we'll move on to triceps and so it's covered going so far Rage on that beat, going crazy. So now we're moving on to triceps. So we're gonna do underhand single arm rope pull downs. And I'm really just focusing on the squeeze and not so much the eccentric. Um, so when I go on stage, when I hit those poses, what? really wanna hit that. Normally I'll do a rest pause and try to get real heavy here, uh, but I don't wanna brutalize the muscle being so close to the show. So I did three working sets. 12 reps so really just focusing on that squeeze and coming up i got one more exercise left straight bar push downs again here i normally do a rest pause up to 20 i just blast it but for this i'm focusing on the contraction so it's going to be 10 to 12 reps three working sets really focusing on that squeeze and then uh we'll do some posing outside get some pics from my coach and then call it a day.